Hello and welcome once again to the Rugged Rockhound channel. If this is your first video and your first time seeing me, welcome. I hope you really enjoy today's video. Today we are down in central Utah and there's my good friend out there already looking around. <laughs> so we are here uh, just off of a road called the Last Chance Road. We took exit 91, um, drove on dirt road, took a couple of right forks. I'll put that in the little montage we did before. And here we are in this valley area. And what we're looking for here <clears throat> on the valley floor itself. So if I look at the big valley way back here behind me, so all of this, all of that valley, anywhere around here we can find agate. Um, this is our first time out here. I've never been out here. So I don't know what quality of agate or how much you can actually find. So we're gonna take a look around. Uh, we might also even look up in the hills a little bit and see if we can find maybe the source where it's coming from. We might, we're just going to be exploring. So we're going to explore for the next several hours and just see what we can find out here. They also say you can find little balls of barite. So I'll just keep my eyes open and see what we can find. So what you got, Tim? Hey, selenite. So there's some gypsum crystals that are growing on the surface here, which is very common in this part of, in these parts of Utah where a lot of the layers are f full of gypsum and other salts and when the water comes through and rain and stuff like that it'll work its way to the surface and will actually form crystals oh, look at that oh, that's a big piece of the selenite isn't it oh bigger than other things we've seen kind of cool not seeing much else really Okay, Tim, what have you found while I was over on the other side? Gypsum. More gypsum? I've found a lot of that too. So I think we should... Uh, it's a river rock. I think we should head further down in the valley, personally. I think we're still too high up. Okay, as it turns out, we were in the wrong valley. <laughs> um, the, the book's picture looked like it was just two forks, but it was actually three forks, and I didn't see that. So we needed to go another four miles. But here we are, and this valley is spectacular. It's beautiful. I appreciate that, because it's much, much prettier than the valley we were in before. Ah, oh, it's beautiful. And sure enough, just right next to the vehicle. I see my first piece. Uh, this looks like stuff I've seen down by Cedar City. What I want is really nice stuff with banding in it. All right, this looks like a much better place where the uh, wash is cutting through right here. Uh, no good bands there. There, that's much more colorful. Yeah, I like that. That's interesting. Oh, very dark. Interesting. Kind of like the shape. Okay, we uh, were back up on the road and we came back up the hill. Turned out we were in the completely wrong spot. I was not paying good attention to the book. It wasn't supposed to be down in the valley. It was supposed to be up here in a flat area near a place called Willow Springs. And now I'm seeing lots of little bits of agate. But I wanted to come up here because it is just a beautiful view. <laughs> Look at that view. Okay, I was looking around and I looked in there and right in the back there was this thing. Look at that. That's pretty. That red going through there like that. Okay, uh, unfortunately my battery died. So while we were down there looking for stuff, I ran out. So we kept looking found a bunch more stuff and then came back. So I'm just gonna quickly recap with you. So here's what Tim found. 
bunch of good looking stuff. And we'll see what this all looks like after we wash it off. We'll get a better close up of all this. So that's what Tim found. This is what I found. So there's that big one and a bunch of smaller ones too. And like I said, once I get them all washed off, we'll show them. So we're gonna move from this area. So this is just the one we ran into just when we decided to stop, park, and take pictures, basically. <laughs> the area we're supposed to be is over there on the other side, over in that area, and maybe across the top of the hill. So we're gonna go back over there now and search that area and see what we can find. All right, we finally made it to the right spot. So this is the actual spot, because in the book it has a picture and that's what's in the background. So going across the top here, from here all the way over there, going that way, all agate. And it is everywhere. Look at that. It is, it's what the ground is made of. Just more and more agate. So now it's all about being picky and throwing away some of the stuff in our buckets. <laughs> Once we find the best looking stuff. Oh my gosh, it, it is literally everywhere. Everywhere. Uh, I thought I'd bring you back in because now you're seeing the barite structures. So if you see a broken one that's got some of the nice barite spraying out. Yeah, see, so they kind of make a circular pattern. Like this. So it used to be barite and then it's agatized. So it got replaced by quartz. So it's not barite anymore, but it has the shape of it. Like that, you can see. And I did find this piece that I liked. It's got a nice round, smooth part to it. I think that'll look nice on the inside. So I'll keep that one. Walking along. You can see how it's kind of changing color a little bit. It's getting a little lighter. It's still just everywhere. I get barite. Kind of at the point we just don't know what to do because it's everywhere. I think maybe I'll keep things like this where it's the whole nodule. That's what I've been keeping. And then I can then um, I can have the fun of cutting it and see what it looks like. You guys see any agate? <laughs> you see anything other than agate? That's not agate. Maybe. <laughs> I got a plant over here. Everything else is agate. Just about. Anybody who likes agates and colored chalcedony stuff, feast your eyes. <laughs> this is just staggering yeah we're definitely seeing more yellow up in this area and that spot right there was just let's keep going For anybody who ever dreams of a wash where the only rock in it is agate. <laughs> See, I can pick up any piece and agate. All right, finally found something a little different. It's kind of a clay ball, a little bit of quartz there, but look at that, it's like a gold sheen. And looking at it closely, it looks like it's gypsum. So gypsum probably filled in a little crack, you know, several little cracks going through it. It broke along it and just got this really cool look to it. That's pretty neat. And it keeps going right along this, all the way out there. Found some that were a little different. Kind of got a purple and they're, not, they're opaque. They're not translucent. Huh. I might take that back with me. Hello, boulder of agate. More boulders of agate. More boulders. <laughs> yeah, 
you're getting further away, of course, from the parking area. Getting better stuff. Hello, big boulder of agate. <laughs> we parked way over there. Just more. Everywhere. More eye candy. Well, if you wanted to decorate your house, <laughs> your yard or something, I know where you can get enough agate to do that. All right, so a quick recap. Uh, Tim slid down the hill a little bit, so I came back to the vehicle to get some ibuprofen for him and took the bucket back, decided, tossed pretty much everything we found before except a few things, and then just put in what we felt like and this is kind of what we're going back with. Combined, this is kind of our combined bucket we're sharing. These are the ones we decided to keep, so I'll get back home, get these cleaned up, washed off, so you can get a better look at them and see just what we kept. Just so you know, if you ever come out here, that covers the hills all the way, pretty much in both directions. It's, it's crazy. <laughs> All right, I'm back here and I got all of the specimens washed off. It's actually been about a week since we got back from the uh, excursion where we went and found all the agate, but I finally got around. I've been so busy. I finally got around to cleaning everything off. So let's go ahead and take a look at all of it. It's a, it's a wet overcast day. I'm not sure how well the colors will show up. This should be okay, but yeah. Here are the specimens that we came back with. I like it when it gets the really dark yellow in it, as well as some dark red lines. We found a little bit of purple stuff up there too. Once again, it's probably all that, you know, agatized, basically quartz, chalcedony, just coming in different colors. I like that one a lot. I like the red right at the top of that one. This one's better right there. Yep, it's more of that purple. The purple wasn't very common actually. Not well, not as common as the rest of these pieces. That's got some good red there. <laughs> you can see my reflection in the water. This one uh, I kind of need to cut into as well. See if it's any better. There's the nice big one I kept. This was cool because it had a little pocket of quartz and it actually had some calcite growing inside of the pocket. It's pretty neat. This one has some good yellow on it. Yeah, right there, that's it. That's where it's really nice. I really liked the yellow right there. That one's got a little bit of yellow right there inside of all that red. Nice. And this is a pretty darn good one too. All that yellow and red all along the edge. The red's really good right there. Yeah, such a neat area. And these are some nodules that we found that we're gonna cut open later. Tons of agate everywhere. Most of it just okay, some of it pretty good. It was a lot of fun. Just to show you how cool it's gotten and how wet it's been, you can see snow right there on the mountain behind me. Fall is here. <laughs> it was a lot of fun. I hope you enjoyed and I hope we, uh, we'll see us on the next video. And remember, there's treasure everywhere.